So what's going on guys, Kate's here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you top 5 base locations in Sons of the Forest. So I fully played the game twice now. And in my first playthrough I mainly explored the map. So here are the best locations that I would recommend to build your base. And most importantly, each pot will be close enough to a water, then to a bunker, then a lot of trees and other materials. So no matter which location you choose, you will be rich in resources and food. So with that said, let's get right into it. So then let's move over to number 1. And this is a location that I personally built my first ever home. So first of all, before I started building a base, this whole spot was just an empty land. And that is exactly what you want. So this base is in a perfect location, because we have very clear ground to build anything and as much as we want. And resources like trees and animals are nearby. So we have our building materials super close. Then as well as we're not building in a random forest location, but instead in this open space, so we don't have to cut a lot of trees. Because cannibals and other creatures can actually climb trees, so we don't want any too close to our walls. Then as well, when we open up our GPS, here you can see the location. So in the map, this is exactly where we are. And then here in the full map, this is exactly where we are. But you can orientate by using big landmarks as well. So for example, this flashing ping, or things like the beach, the river island and other small roads. I've seen two to three more similar spots to this one. So if you spawned very far away from this location, and if you came across a different location, but similar looking spot, then that will work as well. And then on top of all of this, this location is perfect, because 100 meters away we have the flashing mark, which if you go into it, then you will find the bunker, where there are a lot of meds, MREs and all kinds of food. So if I run out of food or meds, then I just simply run to that bunker, and then place a sleeping bag, then I save game and log out, and then go back in, and I will keep doing this till my inventory is full again. So this way, each time we log in the game, we spawn all the items again. So if you don't want to hunt or worry about healing items, then having a bunker like this will be very useful. Especially, the longer you play the game, the stronger enemies will become. So then let's move over to the second location, which I like to call it as the water base. Unfortunately, as of right now, it is impossible to build walls and platforms on top of the water. So it's impossible to build a base in the actual water. So then now, this is the second best place if you want to build a base very close to the water. So first of all, if we take a look at this spot, it looks amazing. And the water is not that deep, so we can easily move around and swim. And if you choose to build here, then you will get many advantages. Like if you ever get overwhelmed by enemies, then you can just jump in the water, and then you can't be attacked. And then as well, you can catch fish, you will never run out of drinking water, and then lastly, you can even transport wood. Because as we are very close to the waterfall, so if something falls in the river, then that stream will go near our base. So here we have a lot of space to build anything you want. And because of the water, so enemies can only attack us from one direction. Hopefully the developers will add the ability to build water base. But if you want the second best thing, or already prepare for the next upcoming water base update, then this is the perfect place for you. Then again, if we open up our GPS, then you can see where we are exactly. And this is where we are if we take a look at the entire world map as well. To come to this exact place, you need to look for landmarks like this river with a small island, then this cave icon and a snow biome on our northeast. So overall again, this spot will have everything you need, from animals to hunt, to resources to build and even important landmarks like the caves and bunkers to explore and refill your ammunition. So then let's move over to base number 3. And speaking of caves and bunkers, well you can actually build a bunker or a cave base. And as I said in the previous base locations, you always want to be near a cave or a bunker, because you can respawn items and food that will help you to survive much easier. So if you want to take this to another level, then you can actually build a base in one of them. So bunkers are a great choice, because most of them already have a built-in bed, but like per usual, you can just create your own bed as well. And then on top of all of this, if you choose to live in my exact bunker, then you will get a 3D printer. So not only you can be stocked up on food and ammo, but you can print arrows, masks, and anything else that is available. And as you can just keep resupplying the 3D printer cartridges, 
so you can basically have unlimited amounts of crafting. Or then if you choose to go a bit more creepier route and if you want to live in a cave then you can do that as well. No matter which place you choose, these are by far the safest locations in the game because once you clear a bunker or a cave, the enemies can't respawn or enter the base. So you have the strongest door in the world protecting you, which is the loading screen. But then the only downside is that you can't bring in wood. So you can only build things like the plant farms, chairs and other things that require bones or anything else that you can just carry in your inventory. And then lastly, to make our base much more cozier, don't forget to put torches, which you can do by opening your crafting book, then going into the furniture and then here you can place the torches. And as far as the exact location of the 3D printer bunker is, then here it is on the big map. And here it is on the GPS as well. If your helicopter crashed in the forest, then you will recognize this landmark. And just few hundred meters away is this bunker, which will be on top of this flashing mark as well. And then if you choose a cave, then you can look for any type of cave mark. But if this location is far away from you, then any type of cave or a bunker will work as well. But if you're 100% looking for the best location, then this is it. So then at number 4 we have the forest base 2.0. So here we have a similar spot to the first location, but we are in a different spot and with closer water, the snow biome and different points of interest are closer as well. So unlike in the previous location, here we have as flat ground as humanly possible. This place doesn't have a small hill, so if you want to build a castle or something like that, then this is the perfect place for you. And as we have the water close by, so if ever a new update comes, then you will be able to combine the castle with a water base nearby as well. So then again let's open up our GPS and this is exactly where we are. So look for big landmarks like the cave icon, this flashing ping or the snow biome. And then if you need to, then in the big map this is exactly where we are. And then again like I previously mentioned, similar spots will work as well if this location is too far away from you. And then lastly before we move on to the last location, I want to give you a few base building tips and tricks. So then first of all I don't recommend to build tree houses because cannibals can climb trees and even destroy them and guess what? If the tree gets destroyed, then your whole base goes down as well. So unlike in the forest one, tree bases are not viable for long term strategy in the sons of the forest. Then as well I don't recommend to build a base in the snow biome, because on top of the temperature problem, your base won't look that good and in the snow biomes, you won't find as many animals, berries and other resources. So if you want to maximize your experience, then don't build in a snow biome. And by the way, if you're a big fan of snow, then no matter where you're built, every 5 to 10 days the snow will come to your location anyways because of the changing seasons so there's literally zero reason to build in the permanent snow biome and then lastly beach locations for a base are off limits as well beaches are usually massive open spaces with not many resources so similar to the winter biome we don't want to build the base on the beach because all the interest points are very far away the wood is very scarce as well and we can't do much with the ocean water So then moving over to the last and final location, which I like to call it as the crash site base. So first of all I need to preface saying this that this will work only if you spawn in the forest area and not if you crashed in the water or the snow biome. And if you just started playing the game and if you want a base spawn location then just make a new game and skip the game's intro until you spawn in the area you exactly want. But with that said building a base in a forest crash site is actually a good idea. Because not only you have water and plenty of trees, but you have the 3D printer bunker and a cave just 50 meters away from you. So of course you can just keep spawning new items by logging in and out of the game. The only downside of the crash site are the rocks, and they may not give you enough space to build, and you don't get the big open space. So you will have to cut a lot of trees, but if you never want to run too far, and if you never want to run out of meds or food, then this is the best base location for you. If you landed here, then of course you will know where this location is. But if you ever get lost, then here you can see it on the big map as well. And then lastly, you can build a base in one, two or even in all five locations. All that you need to do is place few materials and a sleeping bag. And a new icon of a house will appear in your GPS. And that's about it. 
So with that said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good sounds of the forest beginner guides that you would like to see in the next video, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace.